Hi everybody! This is Shelly with HeartsOnYourFood.com and I'm here at my home tonight. It's a Friday night and my daughter went to a sleepover so I thought what wild thing can I do tonight with all this free time? And I thought, well, I'm going to make a video about my blood test results. <laughs> so um, I know it's kind of a big deal to do it when you're on the 80-10-10 diet, just to show the proof that this diet really does work. And, um, you know, it's a very healthy way to live, and your test results reflect that. So here we go. Um, okay, sorry about that. Okay, so we're just going to show here. There's my name and my date of birth. It's me. I'm really that old. And then um, this is back in, let's see, 2006 when I had this done. This is my very first one that I started keeping track of. And here are my oh-so-horrible cholesterol results, 210. I'm not going to go into all the other numbers, but um, 210 was my start, is basically whenever I started getting sick. I um, wonder why I didn't feel well. Um, so, okay, I just kind of wanted to show you that one. And so here we are in uh, 2010, and there's my cholesterol. Oh, again, let's see, where's my name? Oh, over here. There's my name and my date of birth. Okay, I was 43 at this time. And so here is my cholesterol total, and we look over here, 167. So that was one year, and let's see. Uh, not even a year, actually. I started in December of 2009. This was only September of uh, 2010. So not even a year. That's uh, 167 there. So I dropped a considerable amount uh, in that a little of time. So let's see. What else is critical here? Oh, my vitamin D. This was the thing that was really messed up. Um, my vitamin D was only 25. Yikes. Or 24, excuse me. So that was not good. So I had to go ahead and try to fix that. And I really did struggle with that because I really wasn't one to go out in the sun very much. It's so hot where I live and you just it's just not pleasant going outside. Um, so anyways, okay, so now this is the big kahuna here. This is something I'm super duper proud of. All these numbers, you know, I had a vitamin D deficiency. Um, and for whatever reason, we never checked my B12 before, but uh, let's see. Okay, there I am right now, age 45. This is present day. This was in August of 2012, and let's see, where's my cholesterol? Oh, here we go. Um, no, that's my sodium. That's my liver. Where did I go? Oh, here we go. Uh, total sum cholesterol, right here. 147. That is amazing. And here's my, um, let's see, where's my sugar? Oh, my glucose, 84. Okay, this is 80, 10, 10. My glucose is 84. Fascinating. Now, my doctor is like, <laughs> this is amazing. My doctor actually told me that Shelly, and I and keep in mind, I have kidney disease from a birth defect. He said, Shelly, your kidney and your liver are functioning so good. It's as if you have been removed from society. Like, we only see these numbers with people that live in, like, jungles and stuff. So, this is pretty amazing. I was pretty psyched up for these results. He was pretty pleased. So, um, let's see. Okay, so, there were some things that were, like, a little bit off. Like, these numbers were a little high or something. And he said that he ran... A comprehensive panel and he did I didn't quite really understand what all this means but he said that he did some comprehensive panels and my red blood cells are large and buoyant um, I fall into pattern a category so all this stuff tells him that all the other things that were a little bit off were okay and I don't really want to go into that I just kind of want to hit the major things but um, let's see see down here he was scribbling things telling me about b12 and and all that. So let me see. Where's my B12? Oh, and my vitamin D? Um, let's see. It was up to 33. So I did bring that successfully up. It's, you know, on the low end, but we're still working on that. Um, let's see. Where's the other thing? Oh, here's my vitamin B12. Okay. No animal products. Vitamin B12. 370 and so the normal is 200 to 1100 so I do fall within the normal range of this 
However, he said that um, because I have the large buoyant red blood cells, and that was that little picture that he was drawing, and he was explaining it to me. My doctor's super cool. Um, he said that because I fall into the large buoyant category, that he wants my B12 to be higher, um, even though it does fall within the normal range to like, he said try to get it to around 500. So I'm supplementing like most raw vegans do, and probably should if you fall below, obviously have your testing done. You know, don't just go taking things because you think you need them, have a test done. Um, so anyway, and then let's see, my cardio um, risk factor, um, my homocysteine was 7.5, which is uh, very good, totally within the range. So anyways, I just wanted to um, post my results and say how proud I am of myself and thankful to Dr. Doug Graham for writing the book that he did and for all the people out there who help us um, get on this path. And hopefully some of you will see this um, and that cholesterol number again. Um, you know, the cholesterol number, if you've read um, Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease by um, uh, Caldwell Esselstyn, he says that, you know, if you have a cholesterol under 100 or 150, that you are heart attack proof. So I am very proud of that because my um, family suffers from a lot of clogged arteries. And, like, I have uncles and my dad. They all have, like, serious problems with their arteries. So I'm hoping to avoid that in the future. Um, you know, the reason why I eat this diet is because I don't ever want to be a burden on my children. Um, I don't ever want to have, you know, someone have to take care of me. Um, I want to be able to take care of myself until I die in my sleep at, you know, a ripe old age of 90 or 100 or something like that. So, anyways, excuse the way I look because I was getting in bed and decided to make a video. Um, so, anyways, I will talk to you guys soon, and I, I hope that this inspires you to get on the path of uh, raw veganism. Uh, you guys have a good night. Bye.